Hey everybody, it's time to paint my toes again. So tonight I'm going to use Orly Breathable in Freudian Flip. Um, I wanted to use this one because I'm really fascinated by it. It's got like a bluish, purplish, grayish color shift going on. It's very shimmery. And it's, you know, kind of like on the darker side. And Halloween is coming up this weekend, so I wanted to do something that was a little bit on the dark side, but something other than black. So we're seeing what this looks like together for the first time. That is absolutely beautiful. It's super sparkly, kind of almost like, like a foil effect. So... Breathable polish typically goes on without a base coat. That is so pretty. It's like, maybe you'd call it a peacock blue. I'll probably end up doing two coats. I don't know if I'll do it all on video, but we'll see. Um, what should we talk about? What do you guys want to talk about? We can talk about weird feet. We can talk about my weird feet. Like how on my right foot, my pinky toe kind of like, you know, encroaches on my fourth toe over there. And when I was a kid, I was really self-conscious of it. But then when I was in my early 20s, um... I remember saying something to my sister about it. I was like, I was like, look at my, my baby toe over there. It's like so weird. Like, should I be self-conscious about that? I don't know why I decided to ask my sister about that. I guess it was bothering me that I, you know, was fixated on and overly critical of my cute little pinky toe. And she was like, no, it's fine. And sometimes you just need to hear somebody that you respect and trust, uh, you know, basically give you permission to accept something like your weird pinky toe. <laughs> anyway, so thanks to my sister. I started to celebrate my cute little pinky toe rather than fixate on what was wrong with it. And it turns out that there are a lot of people out there that are just like really into overlapping pinky toes. It's like we belong to a special club, like a secret society of people with overlapping pinky toes. I know that sounds really strange, but it's true. I am really liking this polish. As always, it's, I'm not, you know, being as meticulous and neat as I would be if I were putting this on somebody else's toes. Um, it's kind of like a weird angle when you're putting your own putting polish on your own toes, so sometimes I miss spots, but it's usually good enough. That is gorgeous. I am going to do a second coat. This polish is very forgiving, as many shimmery polishes are, like, as long as you, you know, apply every stroke in the same direction, you typically get a really smooth finish, even if you are clumsy and, um, like, if you accidentally kind of jam the the ends of the brush into the polish that's already on your toes. Sometimes, um, you know, with like a cream, like less shimmery polish, um, you might like 
dent the first coat of polish <laughs> that's already on there. Whereas shimmer polishes, it, they're usually, um, well, they usually take a little bit longer to dry because they're essentially glitter polishes. So they tend to go on a little bit thicker, which can work to your advantage because it gives you a little extra time to play with it and smooth it out, if that makes sense. This is an awesome, like, magical kind of, you know, uh, celestial, witchy kind of shimmery blue with that grayish. Actually, now that it's on, it kind of has like a greenish grayish color shift. Love it. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys later. Happy Halloween.